Oh, goody. Good morning, YouTube. I think I'm blurry. Hold on a second. Um, yeah, wow. I don't know. I think I broke through something in my vestibular system. Let's look it up because I, I listened to the song my friend sent me a couple of weeks ago. And at first I'm like, God, the, the beat is grating. It's grating. It's like, oh my God, it's the first thing in the morning. I don't feel like hearing this. I thought, just, just bear through it, Karen, because you know this is good. And it is. That's, I already heard it once. And I like, wow. And uh, just kind of fell into just let the music just let my body just pick up the pace to it and just set and just. And the longer I listened, which it's only, you know, it's a regular song, a few minutes. I saw the, uh, I saw the woman singing, look over at the man around the three minute mark that was playing the guitar. And there's a guy in between them playing a banjo. And I saw that and I thought, first off, I'm going to look it up and see if they're married or if they're lovers or whatever. Cause I just saw some electric, I mean, it was just a momentary just look. And I thought, did I see what I thought I saw? I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to recalibrate or believe what I'm seeing or feeling because I was told never to trust myself, which got me, when well, my parents taught me never don't trust my in instinct or my, the energies that I feel or don't, you don't trust none of that because you're just stupid. So I'm just like, I think I just saw that, but I had these images in my mind after learning about the vestibular system yesterday in more depth about how not even really that much depth, enough depth to get me standing up and be furious again. Like when I learned about the flat earth and I thought, and I don't think it's flat now, but I think it's flat. I don't think it's a globe. I know it's not a globe. I think it's a crater. But anyway, it's still flat. Deborah, I'm down. Shane, I'm down. It's still flat. It's flat. For, it's flat, but we're but the, but the edges are upturned, and there's more shit on the other side. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's like a bowl. It's a, it's a very shallow, flat bowl. Okay, anyway, I don't care about... I mean, I don't care about the... I mean, I don't, it's, like, not even important. That that part isn't important right now. Well, it's very important, but, <laughs> but nobody seems to care. Well, uh, a subset of people care. And the other people want to say you're dead. So um, the vestibular system, which is the system that communicates uh, various points on your body to your brain, like which was the soles of your feet and your teeth, for one thing. I, there may be other points. It might be your hands, fingertips. It might be your entire body. I don't know. But right now we're talking about our teeth and our feet touching and our teeth sending signals to the brain to let us know when we're straight or wh whatever the deal is so that, that that then our skeleton our muscles respond properly and don't pull us one way to the other or whatever and eventually in my opinion cause with little injuries and things and the body starts compensating scoliosis and different things like this my son's father said he's crippled as can be his back he has two s's you, you know scoliosis is usually one this man's got two and his back is flat his he cannot he cannot, he cannot twist his torso. He can flex at the, at the boop, at the waist like that. And his legs, he could be a leg model, which is a point that I did run across when I was learning about this. Cause it says the calf muscles will compensate the blah, blah, blah. It explains everything. He thinks it's because he has this laundry list of ailments that he thinks he had, which I mean, He's got them if you, if you want to, he's got the symptom list. I don't think he's taken vestibular stimulation into account. I think this has been hidden from him. He's brilliant. I don't speak to him anymore because he's freaking, he thinks it was all my fault. <laughs> Anyone. I'm just like, I can't. It's not in our son's best interest for me to talk to him because then we will talk to our son about it which is wrong because we don't know where because we're because we've got issues so we just like it's better if we don't talk then we don't have to tell him what happened or try not to that's just it's just it's in his best interest <laughs> and our son doesn't want me to talk to him but anyway I just sat and cried and cried and cried and I thought and I haven't cried in a long time and I thought something's changed in my vestibular system I have been purposely trying to move my jaw to the right it's not working very well I'm waiting on my splint to correct my TMJ Something happened because an emotional release came for this man that I'm angry. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm harboring anger in, for him, against him in, in, in many ways. Yeah, sure I am. I don't think about it every day or anything. I mean, it'll release in time. But, but it became sadness because this morning I realized he, as I was listening to this song and I thought, this beat is grating to my nerves, but I'm going to hang in there because I know that my body's going to catch up to it. And, and it did. 
And I began to cry for this man because he's, um, he's a music file. He's an audio file. He'll tell you he has hard drives, external hard drives filled with music that he's downloaded through the years. Incredible music, blues as every, every genre you can imagine. And uh, he sits and he drowns himself in it, and, uh, and he tries to share it with other people, and he doesn't understand why not everybody is down for the amount of interest. Although we're interested. I mean, we love it. We love his music. We loved it, you know? I mean, I haven't been with this man in over 20 years, but we, ra we raised our son together. We lived near each other, and I would go to his house, and I'd brush his dishes, and we'd hang out a little bit, because Lenny worked night shift. I mean, Lenny wasn't around. And... Um, our son was small, and you know, and we had, you know, and I, I brought my friends in to become common friends of his. A couple, like Sarah, my friend Sarah, and they had a cleaning business. They, I think, they tried. They, I think they cleaned for him a little bit when, you know, I was got too busy, and it just, um, you know, he was part of the family, kind of like well, Lenny. Just kind of was like hey, Lenny tolerated him. Mean, he was pleasant to him, and whatever. He would have fixed his car and shit. He really couldn't stand the guy. Mind him anyway. Point being, because he just didn't get it, didn't get it. It made me so sad to realize that somebody's so brilliant because he gets real myopic, man. He gets like, or he gets down to the nitty gritty, man. This man will not act until he studied it for 20 years, which is why he's got two, two levels of scoliosis. I don't know how this missed him in his studies because they don't want us to know about it. Everybody in Europe probably knows about it. We don't know shit here. Uh, or Eastern Europe, I should say. It made me so sad because I realized that his vestibular system was using music to compensate because the body will seek compensation. It will put your, it'll take your hips out, your one shoulder down towards that hip. Typically it'll go the right. And I'll have, man, I, I bet you it is. When I think about it, it is that way. It's almost always the right hip up. The body is not the same right to left. This is something you got to dive into to be like, hey, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you got to dive in. I'm like, um, and it just, tears just flowed. And I thought, God, this man doesn't know. I could punch him out, but he doesn't know. He has lost so much sensation coming in from the soles of his feet, from the movement of his body, and from his jaw being properly played. And he's had has had serious dental issues. And I remember him telling me one time, floss every chance you get, Karen. Because he thought flossing was going to prevent, you know, all this horrible tooth decay. Which I'm not, I mean, it's a good thing. To, I mean, it's like, you know, it's a part of the protocol, but it's not what likely caused all the problems. I mean, we have to look at the thing and it's in the to total scheme of things. Um, people have narrow dental palates, high arches, all these things. A lot of these things I believe are caused from nutrient deficiencies during pregnancy, when you're inside your mother's womb or throughout your childhood or your life. We didn't get enough, in my opinion, animal foods to, be, to put the calcium, the whole, the, the everything to build that up. Um, the wide palate. Mine is wide enough but it's pushing a little on the narrowness side, but I had real straight. Anyway, you know, I mean, these the, the black people and the other that have that super wide, beautiful, t oh, man, I love it. You know, the ones that are smiling and perfectly healthy, wearing a loincloth somewhere in a country in Africa, just looking like, yay, we're freaking happy and healthy and they're glowing. <laughs> yeah, they don't have our kind of problems. Um we don't have those kind of teeth. And are so therefore, I mean, you don't see them with scoliosis, do you? Because <gasps> their teeth are touching prop. Their jaw is formed properly. They don't, wait a minute. I read one time and I, I, I got backtracked. I got sidetracked a few minutes ago in this video. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, it was that. Does our brain, does our brain give out more signals to our body or does our, or does it receive more signals from our body? Does it give out or receive? It receives more signals from our body. It's supposed to. How the hell else is the brain supposed to know what's going on and what decision to make if it's not receiving stimulus from the outside world with the or with the big giant organ, our body, that's, you know, reaching out and touching and smelling and feeling the environment? How is in the hell is it supposed to know what to do next? We've covered our feet. We, we've, we've, we've wrapped our feet in foot casts so they barely move a lot of times. And then the whole bottoms are covered. And then we reshape that so we're walking on a cushiony thing. We've disconnected ourselves from the, whatever, the magnetic core of the earth, whatever the deal is here. And then 
we've also malnourished ourselves and our babies and everything else to where, and then we've eaten all kind of weird things, crunchy, wrong, to our teeth are all, 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 all jacked up. We got all stressed out to where we're setting our jaw this way. Then suddenly we're not receiving the proper stimulation from the brain is, and then we're jutting our jaw out this way. And all of a sudden our neck is, and then all of a sudden our shoulders, ah, and then our hip is like, fuck that. Our body's doing everything it can to compensate in the moment. And it'll hold it there if you don't find release or relief or some kind of because it's not coming in through the feet. Then they'll give you drugs to numb your emotions. It's not coming in through that direction. And I thought, holy shit, this guy, his vestibular system was compensating with music, alcohol, nicotine. Because I thought, why do I need it so loud? I want this music to be louder. And I was like, I need it to be louder. Lenny's vestibular system needs it to be lower, please. Our vestibular systems. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot even stress enough. Ease your way into barefoot shoe. Ease your way into barefoot walk. Ease your way. I don't give a oh, how long it took. It didn't take me that long. And I wore shoes every waking second for years. Unless I was in the shower or in bed. Because my feet were so sensitive, there was no fucking way. I was walking. I wasn't stepping on no Lego. I wasn't stepping on a little stone. I wasn't, no, I wasn't stubbing my toe again. No. I needed to run in the face of potential danger. That was my fight or flight mode, shoes on at all times. I loved the big clunky boots. I thought they were sexy. I mean, I just, I was a hot, I was a hot tomboy. That's why I don't got some lesbians running after me. I'm like, no girl, no girl, no girl. <laughs> You're cute and all, but no. I like them, bo I like them boy toys, you know what I'm saying? I like them little toys the boys got. Anyway, like, they're like, well, we can buy them at the store now. No, honey, you ain't got the right chest, okay? You don't got the right smell. You don't got the right feel. You ain't got the right, you just, it's just not, you just, just not it, man. My vestibular system needs to be stimulated by an XY and not an XX. Anyway, <laughs> God bless them, man, because they was cute. And I'm flattered. I'm flattered that women found me, that women, that women found me attractive. I'm, 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 so, I'm thrilled. All right, everybody, let's take into consideration our vestibular systems. Bill not if you're, if you watch this, God bless you. How God help you. Think about your vestibular system in your mouth. I mean, like, like you ain't got another thing about, right? But it's something to think about. And what I'm talking about, the barefoot thing, let somebody massage your feet. Let somebody do some foot stuff. Do, 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 do. Let's stimulate the bottom of your feet and stuff. It's so cool. And then, God bless you. I don't know if you can have an integrative dentist in Alaska near you. Could that be even possible? Integrative dentistry. Oh. All right, everyone. Not your effing guru. Look, look. You have got me. I have stepped where I've stepped back off the carnivore hardcore. To me now, I'm looking at it and I'm going, I love it for an absolute rebuilding of the body and a cleansing of all evil things that it took in. And I think many people can live like that forever if they want to, and I think it's awesome. And I'm starting to think there might be more than one species of us blending up, and that's why some can do that, and some really need a little bit of onion or a little bit of this or that. I'm thinking, I don't know where we're setting, but I am down for hardcore cleanse carnivore meat for all. I think we all need meat. I don't know how much meat you may need, but I think we need it. Anyway, you've really, I mean, I've got, the conversations we've had in private have really just been like, ooh, you are so cool. All right, y'all. Thank you, moms. Moms, mom, Sheena, thank you for, and Debs, thank you. Everybody, thank, thank you, everybody. Getting back to my vestibular system today. I cried for a minute. It was, I think I needed to do that. Maybe it was my vestibular system adjusting because I didn't do it long, for a long time, and it's wrong. Everybody needs to cry a few tears once in a while. And it's okay. Okay. 